Shalom, beloved. It's a word. Signs and wonders, miracles, signs and wonders. The world is waiting for this sign of the eclipse in awe and wonder. But we as chosen, we know signs, wonders, and miracles are part of who Yahuwah is, therefore who we are. We're going to start in the book of Mark, and these signs shall follow them, you that believe. Yeshua HaMashiach is talking. In my name shall they cast out devils, demons. They shall speak in new tongues. They shall take up serpents. If they drink any deadly thing, it shall not harm them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. When we think of the serpents, we think of Paul when a serpent latched onto his hand and many of the people after the shipwreck of the prisoners, many of the people on the island where he found himself thought, here is a criminal that is caught. But yet when they saw that the poison in the serpent had no power on him, they wondered, but signs, wonders, and miracles belong to the believers. All right. We're going down to the book of Acts chapter nine, verse 32 through 43, where as a result of Peter's healing a paralyzed man, all the residents of Leda and Sharon saw him and they turned to Yahuwah. Again, when Peter raised Tabitha from the dead, it became known throughout all Joppa and many believed in the Lord. Signs, wonders, and miracles, beloved. Although we are in the world, we are not of the world. Of course, we would be cautious, but the ooh and the ah, we belong to the most high. We are not like the people of the world. The physical man does not understand the spiritual person, but the spiritual person understands the physical one. They're making a lot of tada tada about the solar eclipse that's coming. And that does not mean you don't take care and caution, but you have to remember what Yeshua HaMashiach told us. And I'm going down the page, beloved. I'm going down. We're going to the last days. And on my servants and on my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit. And they shall prophesy, and I will show wonders in heaven and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. And we see it, beloved. We see it. All right. Even Simon himself, we're in the book of Acts. Simon was a man walking around making himself out to be something other than what he was. He was a magician. He was of a manner of speaking, bewitching the people. But even Simon, after being baptized, he continued with Philip and seeing signs and great miracles performed, he was amazed. Simon was amazed. You see, it even got to the point with Simon because he had the mind of someone of the world and not of those who belong to Yahuwah. He wanted to purchase the gift of the Holy Spirit, when he saw the apostles laying hands and people receiving the Holy Spirit, signs, wonders, and miracles that follow, beloved. But you see, although we're in it, we are not of it. Yahuwah, those things that he did through his servants so long ago, he is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. He is not a respecter of person. Meaning that which he did then, he shall do now. He never changes. All we have to do is believe. All right, signs and wonders and miracles all the time. We are walking, talking, living, breathing testaments to the signs and wonders and miracles of Yahuwah. If we pick up the pieces of our lives and remember 
some of us know for a certain that according to the flesh, we shouldn't even be here. We shouldn't be standing, talking, walking, telling the story of our lives or the lives of others that we've seen miracles and wonders performed from the power of the Holy Spirit through Yahuwah. Yes, beloved, his word, his name, his power. We're made in his image. So you yourself are a sign and a wonder to behold. It is a word, beloved. It is a word to bring you into remembrance, to edify you, that you don't allow the world to dilute the truth of what is inside you, what has been given you, and what you have witnessed. And even when we see the eclipse, we understand one of the greatest signs and wonders we shall see, God willing, we live to see it is when he turns this system around and comes and claims his Yaquid, his beloved Yasharel from the four corners of the earth. As he casts down the enemies, we witness signs and wonders every day of his word that does not fall to the ground, but profits in everything he sends it to do. We are witnessing signs and wonders every day. And it is a miracle and a joy to behold, increasing our faith and making us understand who we are and to whom we belong. Yes, beloved. Yes, yes, yes. We have people, the raising of the dead. Yes, yes, yes. It wasn't just Yeshua HaMashiach that raised the dead. No, no, no. We can go back, whether we look at Elijah, whether we look at Peter, when he spoke to Tabitha, yes, beloved, yes, yes, yes. We know about signs, wonders, and miracles because we ourselves and those around us are living signs and wonders. It's a word, beloved. Be ye encouraged and edified to know who you are and to whom you belong because truly it is a sign and a wonder. Shalom, beloved. It is a word. 